Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. Uh, this is an Android tutorial in which we would be studying about setting up our AVD. Till now we have been able to uh, see what Android Studio is about Android, history of Android and stuff like that. In this tutorial, we would be setting up the AVD. Before I make you set up your AVD, I would like to inform you what an AVD is. See, there are so many Android devices coming up in the market. There is Samsung, there is HTC, there is Google Nexus, then there are LG devices, uh, MI devices, Xiaomi, uh, we, what we call, then we have Lee TV and a million others, right? Now, how are, how are all these devices being checked? Like, if I am an application developer, how do I check that which device or which application, my application is working on which device? I can't go and buy all the devices that I need to test on. So Android has come up with an emulation or emulator which we call known as Android AVD or Android Virtual Device. This virtual device is the exact replica of your mobile phone. It has same power, same style, same working as you're working on your own mobile phone. Right? So to set up the AVD, what we do is that we go to the Android Studio, we click on AVD Manager. Once the AVD Manager comes up, we then click on New or Create New AVD. Then we choose the device you want. Here you will be finding many options. You can use an existing hardware profile that is already present. By hardware profile, I mean which type of device I want, what should be the screen size, what should be the RAM, what should be the SD card size. All these things are predefined for some devices. Otherwise, you can also choose your own. Then you give a name to your device, the version of API on which you want to make the device and you click on create AVD. After you create AVD, you would be able to see the AVD in the AVD panel or in the AVD manager. From there, you can start the AVD and the AVD would be successfully started up. From there on, you can run your applications and you would be able to see how they are working. Now let's have a quick demo and see how this is happening on our real machines. Hello guys, as we have already seen how do we how do we actually start up the AVD. Now let's have a quick demo to actually see and demonstrate how can we actually fire up our AVD. Also, you, I already told you as AVD stands for Android Virtual Device. Android Virtual Device is an emulation of a mobile-like environment in which we actually can see how our application will be performing on real devices. So let's make up a new AVD first. We I go to Tools, Android, AVD Manager. This is the Android Virtual Device Manager. Here I click on Create Virtual Device. This is showing me a menu of available options that I can make. I can make up a virtual device of a phone, tablet, VR, TV, anything that I want. Let me first go with the phone first. I want the Nexus 4 phone with such configuration. Also, if you are not satisfied with such a configuration, you can go and create your new hardware profile according to your need. First, let me go with this Nexus 4 configuration. I click on Next. Now it is asking me that what are the what are the options available. So there are two types of images that I can have or I can use to make a AVD. One is a x86 image and other is the ARM image or other images. ARM images are those images which are actually from which are work on the ARM processor and these work on the Intel x86 platform. Now what we do is we actually make up the AVD for the marshmallow which is available. I click on next. It is asking me for a name. I name it as Nexus for AVD. Other settings look fine, so I click on finish. Now it will be saving the AVD and will take around two to three minutes, obviously depending on the work you are having or the speed you are using. So uh, after making up such a AVD comes up, we then click on this play. This play button will actually launch the AVD for me. Once I click this play, I see a launching process over running over here. So it's launching, it's giving some configuration or the type that it is wanting. So here we have got our AVD that is firing up. Now let's wait for the AVD to fire up. So I think the AVD is almost ready and it's coming up. This is the menu. Yeah. So finally we have got AVD. 
you can let's have let's do some quick two to two minutes view on how AVD is having it's actually loading and it will take some more time I think yeah so this is a you can uh, relate it with your own mobile phone quite similar in nature right these are the uh, home page this is your application drawer whatever applications you would be running over here would be visible in this application drawer if you want you can lock your screen you can increase the menu you can increase the volume sorry decrease the volume you can even change the orientation of your of your AVD if you want to have a screen uh, screenshot you can do this one and this way you will be able to take the screenshot of the AVD these are three buttons you know that we often use this is some controls that you are having like you want to set some uh, cellular network speed okay like okay you want to set some battery that what is the battery over here uh, you want to say I, I don't want the AVD to be in charging mode So these all things are there. We actually use these things when we are actually ha having or if we are we are actually following some application for such kind. Like if say I'm building a GPS system, then I might need some GPS data available with me. Okay. So with this thing, uh, I think this was all about AVD. Now, so we have been able to launch up the AVD, start a AVD. Now in the upcoming video we would be seeing how do we actually run our hello world project onto our AVD.